Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best small cap companies to buy right now. Due to these companies being smaller, the risk of investing into these companies is a lot larger than if we were to invest into a blue chip company or a large cap company. But by investing into small cap companies, it gives us greater upside potential and the opportunity for these stocks to surge. Now, these are not necessarily buy recommendations for me. I'm just going over these companies to make you aware of them if you want to add them to a watch list so you can do more research. I always recommend that you do as much research as possible before you place your hard-earned cash and money into certain investments. So I'm just going to give you a broad overview of the 10 best small cap companies to buy right now, and then depending on your risk tolerance and your investing style, you can make the investment decision if you want to actually own own a piece of these companies. So with that being said, remember to go and smash that like button for more videos just like this one regarding the best stocks to buy on the stock market right now. Go and smash that like button, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe if you are new, and without further ado, let's jump right into today's stories. So the first company we're going to be dissecting and analyzing is Vizio Holdings Corp, ticker symbol VZIO. This company currently trades at $10 per share, while professionals believe the company should be trading anywhere between $14 on the low end and $27 on the high end, and those are professionals' price targets for this particular company over the next 12 months. Vizio Holdings, ticker symbol VZIO, provides smart televisions, soundbars, and accessories in the United States to various consumers, but they are most known for offering their SmartCast system, which is a smart TV operating system which supports various streaming apps, such as Amazon Prime Video, Apple TV, Discovery+, Plus, Disney+, Plus, HBO Max, Hulu, Netflix, Paramount+, Plus, Peacock, YouTube TV, and a plethora of other streaming services all on their app. This has also allowed Vizio to maintain and increase and grow their overall advertising business, where the company finished their upfront season with more than $200 million worth of direct advertising commitments from agencies and various companies, brands, and studios that are paying Vizio so Vizio can run their ads on their smart TV operating system. And this has represented around a 100% year-over-year -year increase in their advertising revenue, which is absolutely fantastic. A Stevens analyst actually suggests around 20 reasons that consumers and investors should hold this company due to it being exposed and having partnerships with very reputable brands, it has a long-standing relationship with key retailers, and it has a very conservative outlook from now until 2025. But if you're a long-term investor that has some cash laying around, feel free to dive deeper into this particular company. And with that being said, let's move on to our next company named Apollo Medical Holdings Inc, ticker symbol AMEH. Right now, the company trades for around $35 per share, while experts believe the company should be trading between $38 and $57. This particular company focuses on their proprietary health management services and healthcare delivery platform. The company also announced that it plans to acquire nine primary care clinics, all operating under the name Valley Oaks Medical Group. And this is going to be a huge acquisition for this company, which hopefully will lead to higher revenues in the future. Experts actually anticipate that this deal will go through at the end of the fourth quarter before we enter into the year of 2023. And a William Blair analyst also has initiated coverage on this particular company, and they gave it an outperform rating, but no price target. The reason he gave it an outperform rating is because he believes this company has a deeply experienced staff and a very strong value proposition for its investors. So he believes the company is currently undervalued and and they will appreciate in their stock price as time goes on. The next company we're going to be analyzing today is CSW Industrials Inc, ticker symbol CSWI. Currently, the stock price trades for $126, while analysts believe the company should be trading between the range of $148 and $156. This company is essentially a diversified industrial company that operates through three main business segments, and those segments would be their contracting solutions, their engineered building solutions, as well as their specialized reliability solutions. 
The company has also expanded their offerings when it comes to the HVAC slash R and plumbing and markets that they are involved in. I also want to mention and bring to your attention that this company also has a dividend which they pay out quarterly which is currently 17 cents per share. On top of that, a Barrington analyst recently raised their price target for the CSWI stock from $153 to $157 while also reiterating and maintaining their outperform rating for this particular company, which shows investors that this company could have a further growth ahead of it depending on various macroeconomic trends that we are experiencing. Also, the analyst anticipates and projects that the company is going to have resilient revenue growth across all of its segments from now over the next few years. So if you're looking for a small cap company that's very stable in their overall revenue, that's trading at arguably a pretty good discount right now, CSW Industrials Inc. could be the company for you. The next company we're going to analyze has the ticker AKRO, and this is a therapeutics company that was incorporated back in 2017. Right now, the current share price has surged up to $40, while experts in this space believe the company should be trading at $30 at minimum or $62 at maximum, according to 12-month stock price targets. This company focuses on the development of various medicines that will help people's bodies restore the metabolic balance and improve their overall health. An analyst from Evercore ISI has given the stock an outperform rating and that would be in line with their price target of $50 per share, which is a huge increase from their previous price target of only $10. So literally they have increased their price target by $40 due to the current projections of this company. The next company we're going to be forecasting today is Arconic Corporation, ticker symbol ARNC, which trades for $19 per share. Likewise, professionals in this field believe the company should be worth at minimum $22 and at maximum $30. So if it's not trading in between that range, we could assume that the company could potentially be undervalued right now. This company specializes in the manufacturing and distribution of aluminum sheets, plates, extrusions, and other architectural products in the United States as well as globally. The company does have a very good international presence, and the revenue for the third quarter came in at around $2.28 billion, which is a year-over-year -year increase of 20.6%. A benchmark analyst recently reaffirmed their buy rating on this company with a price target of $30. Now, with that $30 price target in mind, the company did trim and lower their price target down from their original $35 price target for this company, but $30 is still substantially higher than the current stock price of $19. I also want to bring to your attention that various professionals have lowered their overall forecasts and projections for this company for the year of 2023, which means that over the next year, this company will be extremely volatile. But if you're not exposed to this particular market, investing into this ARNC company could not only give you diversification, but also long-term growth, especially if they continuously increase their revenue by 20.6%. Now, I personally don't think this will be a CAGR in regards to the revenue that they will be able to maintain, but overall, it's still a pretty good company. Up next, we have ticker symbol PRCT, whose stock price is currently $43. Experts in this particular space believe the company should be trading between $39 and $58, which it is doing right now. So we could say this company is fairly valued according to current projections for their stock price predictions and stock price targets. This company is mainly known for their development of transformative solutions in urology. A Truist analyst has initiated coverage on this particular company and he gave it a buy rating and said that the company should be worth $58 per share over the next 12 months. This company initially was targeting a sizable market of around $870 million, which is a huge opportunity in the United States, but their total addressable market is even bigger, coming in between $10 billion to $20 billion. With this company's very innovative technology and solutions in regards to urology, the company is set to penetrate this market very effectively. So, if you want more exposure to biorobotics companies, this 
company could be for you. Up next, in the number four spot, we have Prometheus Biosciences Inc, ticker symbol RXDX, which trades for $48 per share, and analysts think that the company should be worth $55 at minimum and $75 at the maximum. This again tells us that the company could be trading at a big discount right now compared to their 12-month stock price predictions. This is a biopharmaceutical company whose products are involved in the treatment of inflammatory bowel disease. Analysts have recently raised their price targets from $50 to $55 and they give this company a buy rating, particularly ahead of their phase 2 data for some of their solutions and products such as the Artemis-UC and the Apollo-CD which will help push their biopharmaceutical brand by giving the market access to these particular products. So overall, if their phase 2 data is very positive, we could anticipate that this stock price could surge at least temporarily between $55 and $75 during the short term, but over the long term, this company is going to have to pave the way for the effectiveness of its solutions because there are so many biopharmaceutical companies out there, this company definitely needs to try to separate themselves from the flock. In the number three spot, we have Warrior Met Coal Inc, ticker symbol HCC, which trades for $38 per share, while experts think the company should be worth anywhere between the range of $32 and $50 for a singular share. This company specializes in metallurgical coal for the steel industry and according to its third quarter results, they have done very well topping Wall Street's expectations and estimates by millions of dollars. Their revenue was so impressive, in fact, that it surged by around 83.7% year over year, and that is absolutely amazing, while also offering investors a quarterly dividend of six cents per share. A B. Riley analyst also chimed in on this stock to say that this company could be a good buying opportunity because he raised his price target up from $48 to $50, but he actually lowered his overall rating for the company from a buy rating down to a neutral rating. So I thought that was pretty interesting that although he increased his price target, he lowered the buy rating. And what this essentially means is during the short term, he anticipates the stock price will surge, but over the long term, this company will probably just track along with the overall market and not outperform it. The opportunity for this company is relatively high according to their growth projections and growth prospects, but if they cannot keep up with their overall demand and if they can't continuously increase their overall revenue, we could see this stock price actually drop over the long term. But if you aren't exposed to the steel industry or if you like the current growth prospects of this company because essentially the company could surge from $38 up to $50, which is a huge improvement, this company could be the one for you. In our number two spot, we have ticker symbol AMBA, which I've talked about before on this channel. The current company trades for $53 per share, while experts believe the company should be trading at the lowest $62 and at the highest $150. So literally, this company has the potential almost to 3x your money. This company provides semiconductor solutions, particularly in regards to support high definition and ultra high definition compression and image processing. A Needham analyst also maintained recently a buy rating on the stock, but he he lowered the price target down from $110 to $90, but still $90 is still substantially higher than the current stock price of $53 per share. The reason why this Needham analyst did that is because he notes that the semiconductor and semiconductor equipment space is set to experience a lot of supply chain issues and macroeconomic uncertainty over the next few months or over the next year or two. And this has added uncertainty to a small cap company, which is already pretty risky. Again, like I said earlier, we're talking about small cap companies here, which are very risky. Normally I don't talk about risky stocks much, but I decided to make an exception. And if you want more videos like this one, or if you want me to go over the 15 best penny stocks to buy right now, which are ultra risky investments, red chip companies, go and smash that like button right now and comment down below telling me that you 
want a video on the best penny stocks to buy right now that could explode, skyrocket, and surge in their stock price, even though the risk to reward ratio is extremely high. These companies would be high risk, high reward. And then lastly, we have Bloomin Brands Inc, ticker symbol BLMN. And this company trades for $23 per share, while professionals, experts, analysts, and any other guru in this space believes the company should be trading at $23, so arguably it's fairly valued, but many analysts and professionals believe the company could surge up to $35 over the next year. This company operates casual, upscale, and fine dining restaurants both in the United States as well as internationally. The company also gives a pretty good dividend yield of 14 cents per share on a quarterly basis. This is one of the reasons why Barclays recently raised the firm's price target from $26 up to $28 while they maintained an overweight rating for this company because the company actually beat their quarter three estimates and projections from Wall Street. So overall, these are going to be the companies that are relatively higher risk than the companies we normally talk about. But then again, they also have a greater upside than the companies we talk about. But because I'm a long-term investor, I normally stick to large cap blue chip companies. But once in a while, I like to stretch my legs and go over some of the most innovative small cap companies that could have explosive growth in the future. But remember, if you want more videos like this one, smash the like button, comment down below what companies you want me to analyze and do analysis on. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you in the next YT video.